Come on students, we'll start problem number 50. 49 problems we have completed. Now see the 50th problem. A company limited had issued bonds with a face value of rupees 1000. Coupon of 12%. Payable semi-annually and the time to maturity of 8 years. The market rate of interest is 14%. Find the duration of the bond 2 years after it is issued. In this problem, we have to calculate the duration. Already so many problems we have done the duration. But in all the previous problems, duration we have calculated for annual bond. Not for semi-annual bond. We have calculated the duration for all the annual bonds. This is the first problem where we have semi-annual bond and we have to find out the duration. So Maculius has given one formula, a lengthy formula for calculating duration if the bond is semi-annual. This formula is tedious, time consuming, so a little bit confused. So this formula will be applied only when the bond is semi-annual. If the bond is annual, then we have to prepare the table. In the previous problems, we have prepared the table, year column, cash flow column, PV factors column, product column. By making that table, we can easily calculate the duration. But first time we are calculating here. Now see the solution carefully. C is equal to 12% of 1000. Annual interest, copper interest is 12%. The 120 rupees is the annual. But if the problem it is given, the interest is paid semi-annual. The 120 divided by 2 is 60 rupees. The annual 120 rupees, semi-annual 60 rupees. Sal mein, ek sal mein, 120 rupees interest hai. So every 6 months mein interest is 60 rupees over. Maturity value 1000. YTM 14% given in the problem. In the problem, YTM is given, the market rate of interest is 14%, 0.14. N is equal to 8 years. The period of redemption is 8 years, but it is given, find the duration of the bond 2 years after it is issued. 2 years after it is issued means the remaining time period will be 6 years. So T is equal to 6 years. M is equal to 2. M stands for how many compounding period per year. And how many times interest is paid in one year? So if semi-annual bond is there, two times interest will be paid. If quarterly interest is paid, then M is equal to 4. If monthly interest is paid, M is equal to 12. So M stands for how many times interest is paid in one year? How many times interest paid in one year? So in our problem, semi-annual, so M is equal to 2. Z is equal to 1 plus YTM divided by 2. Z will be the symbol which is used in the formula. So Z is equal to 1 plus YTM by 2. YTM is 0.14. Here it is. So 0.14 divided by 2, 0 0.07. So Z ka value is 1.07. Now Maculus duration for semi-annual bond is this formula. MD is equal to C into Z to the power of T into M plus 1. Minus Z minus YTM into T. This is the bracket. Then plus MV. Maturity value. T. Time period. How many years? It is 6 years. M. 2. Compounding period per year. YTM M by M. Whole square. YTM is 0 0.14. 0 0.14 divided by 2. So 0 0.07. Whole square. C into YTM by M. Z to the power of T into M minus 1 plus maturity value into YTM by M whole square. Now in this formula, we have to substitute all the values. So C, in place of C, we are going to take 60, 60 rupees. Z is 1.07 and T, time period is 6 years and M, 2 plus 1 minus Z, minus 1.07 minus YTM, 0.14 T, 6 bracket. Maturity value 1000. Time period 6 years, mature, M value 2, YTM by M, whole square, divided by C is 60, YTM by M, 0.14 by 2, Z 1.07 to the power of 6 into 2, minus 1, plus maturity value 1000, YTM by M, 0.14 by 2, whole square. So, if we solve this, we are going to get MD, Maculus duration 8.74 half years. Because here we are getting maculous duration for half years. So 8.74 half years means divided by 2 can 4.37 years. 
तो 4.37 इयर्स इज़ द मैक्यूलेस ड्यूरेशन बट दिस फॉर्मूला विल बी अप्लाइड ओनली 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 व्हेन एन्युअल व्हेन सेमी एन्युअल इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट्स आर मेड एन्युअल पेमेंट करें तो भी अप्लाई कर सकते हैं लेकिन व्हाई टू वेस्ट द टाइम इजीली वी कैन मेक बाय मेकिंग द टेबल तो अगर एन्युअल पेमेंट है तो वी कैन यूज द फार्मूला और यू कैन मेक द टेबल इट्स ऑप्शनल इट इज ऑन आवर टू डिसाइड व्हिच व्हिच इज बेटर तो टेबलर फॉर्म इज बेटर बट इफ सेमी एन्युअल इंटरेस्ट इज गिवन डेफिनेटली वी हैव टू अप्लाई द फार्मूला वी कैन नॉट अप्लाई द टेबल सो दिस इज द फार्मूला फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग maculus duration if the semi annual bond take a pause and then copy down the complete solution now we'll see the next one 51 problem number 51 see the problem number 51 a rupees 100 A rupees hundred par value bond co bearing a coupon rate a rupees hundred par value bond bearing a coupon rate of eleven percent and matures after five years. The expected yield to maturity is fifteen percent. Present market price eighty two. Can the investor buy the bond? It's very easy. Face value is given. It is problem number fifty one. So. Uh, C is equal to eleven percent of hundred is equal to rupees eleven. N is equal to five years. R is equal to fifteen percent. And current market price is equal to rupees eighty two. Can the investor buy it? So in order to take the decision whether investor should buy it or not, we have to compare the intrinsic value with the current market price. So we find the intrinsic value of bond. Intrinsic value of bond. V is equal to C into P V A F R percent n years plus M into P V F R percent n years. V is equal to coupon is eleven rupees into P V A F R is fifteen percent. For how many years? Five years. Plus hundred into P V F fifteen percent five years. So V is equal to eleven into plus hundred into. Now P V factors we require fifteen percent for five years. It is three point three five two and point four nine seven. So V is equal to thirty six point eight seven two plus forty nine point seven. So V is equal to eighty six point five seven. Intrinsic value is equal to eighty six point five seven. Current market price of bond is given in the problem eighty two rupees. Now see it. In the market, the bond is bought and sold at eighty-two, whereas the intrinsic value is eighty-six. So we can easily say the bond is underpriced in the market. The bond is underpriced in the market, so it is worth buying. So we suggest the investor to go ahead and buy the bond. The bond is underpriced. in the market so the investor should buy it that's it now copy down the solution
Now, the last and final problem that is 52. See the problem 52. A bond with a face value of rupees 1000 has a coupon rate of 8% per annum. So, 8% of 1000 is 80 rupees annual coupon interest. It has maturity of 3 years from now. The going market rate of similar securities is 10%. This is the YTM. Calculate Macula's duration of the bond when the coupon payment are made semi-annually of Rs. 40 each every 6 months. So per annum interest is 8% of 1080 rupees. Per annum 80 rupees. So every 6 months 40 rupees. So here specifically given it is a semi-annual bond. And we have to calculate the Macula's duration. So the same formula we have to apply. Compulsorily we have to apply the formula because this is a semi-annual bond. Right? Come on. We'll take the values. C is equal to semi-annual coupon is equal to rupees 40. Maturity value is rupees 1000. Then YTM is given as 10% that is equal to 0 0.10. So here time period is given T. How many years is the maturity? 3 years from now. And M is equal to 2 because every year 2 times interest will be paid. 1 plus YTM 0 0.10 divided by 2 that is equal to 1 plus 0 0.05. That is equal to 1.05. This is the Z value. Now we have to apply the formula and substitute to the values. Forty into Z 1.05 to the power of three into two. Three into two plus one minus 1.05. Minus 0 0.10 into 3 plus maturity value is 1000 into 3 into 2 into 1.05 divided by 2 whole square. No, 1 is this is not 1.10 divided by 2 whole square. Whole by C is 40. Then YTM 0 0.10 divided by 2 into Z 1.05 to the power of 3 into 2 minus 1 plus maturity value 1000. YTM is 0 0.10 divided by 2 whole square. So MD is equal to 40 into 1.407 minus 1.05 minus 0.3 plus 300 whole divided by 2 into 0 0.34 plus 50 so that is equal to 302.28 divided by 50.68 is equal to 5.96 so macula's duration is equal to 5.96 half years that is equal to 5.96 divided by 2 so 2.98 2 2.98 years that's all this is the maculous duration So students, we have completed 52 problems on this unit number 2. So we have done so many problems to get the perfection on the calculations. Last one or two problems you will find it difficult but remaining problems by doing continuously 2-3 times you will get the full command. 
See, practice makes man perfect. Only simply knowing the concept is not enough. Apart from that, you have to make a good practice on the problem. After completing all the solutions, after writing it down, what I suggest is, without looking the solution, take it from your copy of all the problems, do it yourself and find the answer, whether you are getting it or not. In that way, you can be able to get the full command. In this unit number two, fixed income securities, we have done three type of problems. The first type of problems, valuation of bond, whether the bond is annual bond or semi-annual bond. We have applied the formula V is equal to C into PVAF R percent N years plus M into PVF R percent N years. In the first video of problems, I told you how to calculate the annuity factor and PV of rupee one factor by using a simple calculator. By using a simple calculator. If you are not perfect, go to my first video of that uh, problems, problems video. First problem video. Go to the first, second, third problem. There I have explained you in detail how to make the calculation of annuity factor and PV over P1 factor. Because in almost all the problems you come across regarding the calculation of annuity factor. So this is the first problem, valuation of bond. Second type of problems we have done are returns. Current yield, yield to maturity, yield to call, YTC, YTM, current yield, nominal yield. So different types of yield we have calculated. An examination part of it, very frequently they will ask the question regarding um, YTM. YTM and YTC. Then third type of problems are calculating the duration and modified duration. Maculase duration and modified maculase duration. Volatility of bond. So duration calculate karne ke liye. First, if the bond gives the annual return, simply make a table. Annual coupon interest is paid, make a table and find out the duration. If the coupon interest is paid semi-annually, then Macule has given this formula. This formula you have to make some practice. Then you can, you'll get the command on how to calculate Macule's duration if semi-annual interest is paid. That's all in this uh, second unit. That will be more than enough. In the next session, in the next video, we'll start unit number three, that is variable income securities or common stock valuation and management. Till then, bye.